We venture to the far, far, far left edge of the political spectrum. Out where the buses don't run. We must be in heaven, man! Scoping out brave new worlds of internet liberalism. Join us, won't you, for another eye-popping, jaw-dropping episode of... Blue Blog Apalooza! Blue Blogs, of course, uh, for those of you who have uh, not... uh, not heard us uh, do this regular feature on this program yet, new listeners. Uh, we do take a look at the blue blogs every so often. These are the liberal bloggers, and we've discovered a deep and fearsome and unapologetic strain of anger. Daily Coast. <laughs> Joe Lieberman, you just made my mom's life harder. <laughs> Because of your pig-headed, evil need for retribution against a ragtag group of internet bloggers who had the temerity to primary you? So on behalf of my mother and all the women in her similar situation, f*** you and the horse you rode into the Senate on. As God is my witness, I will work every freaking day to ensure your defeat! Now you think we're making this up. We're not. Wild, wild left. If the Democrat Party is moderate conservatives... If the Democrat Party is moderate conservatives and dictated to by the Liebermans and Stupaks and the GOP are bad, wackadoo, insane conservatives who are pro-torture and anti-empathy, what choice is there in our democracy? Can we even call it a democracy anymore? Hi, honey. Get out of here! I am blogging! If Democrats lose to this insane crowd of teabagging sociopaths on the right, they will have earned it in every way, and I, for one, will be glad to have gotten rid of the rotten, low-hanging fruit in the Democratic Party that enabled the conservatives and helped them beat us! (laughs) I am reminded of the line of a verse in a George Orwell's famous 1984 from which I take my pen name. I leave you with these words under the spreading chestnut tree. I sold you. And you sold me. Democrat underground. (laughs) This is like over-the-top treachery. I mean, time to pull out all the stops. This cannot be held up by like a couple of mother backstabbing Republicrats. F*** 60. We have enough to pass it. Force them to prevent a filibuster. These are your good uh, left-wing true blue liberals who don't mind throwing obscenities around. They've learned that from Jon Stewart. Think progress. Extra, extra, Johnny McFlipflop's McCain's twin brother, Joe McFlipflop Lieberman, has been found hiding out in the U.S. Senate. Huffington Post. Oh, God, will somebody please punch Joe in the freaking face with a stone statue already? I don't know, like three or four or eleven times should do. They really don't mind being vicious either. In progress. Don't give a crap about Lieberman. In fact, go to reconciliation, cut them off at the knees. All of them, Nelson, Landrew, Lincoln, we gave them a majority. We expect action. Everyone who will not back us. They'll lose every chair, every park. Then we put in progressives in their districts for the primaries. Then toss them out on their asses. And by the way, we only picked out the good ones. There's just miles of this stuff. Think progress. It's far past time for Lieberman to be reduced to the status of a mushroom. Keep him in the dark and feed him shit. Then let him explain to the good voters of Connecticut why their senator is ignored and despised by all. And I'm pointing these out to you to show you their focus on Lieberman. You know, Nelson could be against it, doesn't matter. McKeskill could be against it, doesn't matter. These guys are Lieberman obsessed because they tried to kill him once before and he defeated them and they were just beside themselves. In progress. Whack him in the knees, Harry! F- this sh- Where are the fact checking pushback spokespeople? <clears throat> By the way, the, the, the Gibson players have put in an excellent performance, haven't they? Think progress. The only deal the Democrats need to make with my senator is Lieberman, shut the f*** up, vote according to the party line or lose your Department of Homeland Security chairmanship. It sounds like these people need the health plan for sure. Raw story. Absolute f***ing garbage. Why can't we all have a recall law for the House and Senate? I've had it with this crap. If everyone who reads this article doesn't call their f***ing senator and congressperson tomorrow, then you are part of the problem. I call them so many f***ing times, they know me by name. Everyone should be doing that. Tell those bastards that there had better be a damn good public option, and they better not f***ing vote yes on it! Raw story. (laughs) This is just pathetic. What a sissy bunch of wimps who don't give a damn about anyone but themselves. These sissy married Democrats should all be run out of office ASAP. I hope they all burn in hell. People are dying, and despite what the public clearly wants, they bend over backwards for a handful of self-important ass who care only about 
about the ultra rich. Simply pathetic. I hope all who allow this abortion to happen burn in hell for eternity. Okay. Ezra Klein, this um, punk who works at the Washington Post and has gotten to be some sort of god down there, says Joe Lieberman, quote, seems to be willing to cause the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people in order to settle an old electoral score. You know what this is? This is the left media knowing that they made a mistake. They caused this problem with Joe Lieberman a long time ago, and now they're mad at him about it. Making the world safe for hypocrisy as he threatens to filibuster any health care reform, including the Medicare buy-in, which he proposed. Senator, just resign already. You are embarrassing humanity. Ezra Klein on the latest backroom bargaining on reform. See, what's going on is lots of Democrats can't stand this and won't vote for it. And it has to change or it's back to the drawing board, as Claire McCaskill says. But they can't focus on all the Democrats. The Republicans would be out of the line of fire. Democrats would be shooting Democrats. So we've got to pick a Democrat we hate. And that's a Democrat we tried to throw out of the party some time ago, and he defeated us. So it all comes down to Lieberman, who bat up boy and the left just hate. I mean, you just hate him. Resign. Well, if you're going to accuse Lieberman of killing 150,000 people over the next 10 years, why, uh, you might as well just go ahead and tell him to kill himself. And meantime, Joe Lieberman continues to spit in the face of this country's desires and needs. It's not about retribution as much as it is about right now. You and I might hope that were we ever guilty of such lying, such betrayal, such humiliation, we would flee office or go hide in a monastery or go jump off a bridge. Jump off a bridge, die. Bathtub Boy's rhetoric always involves somebody resigning, finding other work, fired, or just die. And it's aimed at uh, Joe Lieberman now. He, he said, Bat That Boy just said, the country wants this. No, it doesn't. I'm holding in my hand a paper of the summary of the polling on this. Real Clear Politics average is against 15 points. That is, that fifth, by a 15, well, it's almost 16 point margin, Americans are against this. Joe Lieberman seems to be standing in the way. Good for Joe. Batman Boy is mad, wants him to die by jumping off a bridge to his death. David in Orange County, California. You know, he's a hero for this. And by the way, my only exposure to Bathtub Boy is your show. I, I don't ever watch him. That guy doesn't have a grip on reality. First <laughs> we, of all. Did, 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 did we do? Um, his analyst is an echo chamber for him. So he gets this guy on there. You know what's going on. Well, anyway. that's how the show worked. The whole show is one big echo chamber. Uh, I have repeated one insult over the years uh, uh, about him, and I will repeat it again. Uh, he is the only man in television who takes off a straight jacket to put on a suit jacket to go do a show. Media Matters, certified right-wing psychopath. Those clips are all taken out of context. John Gibson. You're just trying to make us look goofy and paranoid. 